I hope you had a good day. Welcome back. Thanks. Well, hello. You know what? You, you, you throw me off every time you do that. Hey guys, it's John. Welcome back to my playthrough of Detroit Become Human. And, um, yeah, it's, uh... It has been a day since I last played. But you may notice that I'm wearing the same shirt. And you know what? We're just not gonna fucking mention it. Okay? Let's go ahead and start, uh... Up with what we were doing. Uh, actually, before we do that, this is the options section. I you, you can customize your experience here. I had no idea you did this. <laughs> we got, I literally did that. I did not know that she did that. Um, I'm putting it back on 1440p, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring uh, depth of field back online and volumetric lining because I've discovered. That basically, this game on PC just has that slowdown effect that keeps happening, and it's unrelated Your to the settings. Have been saved. Thank you. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's just going to happen. So anytime we get a little bit slowed down, I'm probably going to try to immediately pause the game, because sometimes that seems to help it. Get its bearings, you know, load things up or whatever, and then uh, we'll just deal with it when it happens. And hope that that doesn't interfere with any major cinematic, dramatic experience that we encounter. Oh yeah, Marcus on the ship. The Jericho. Is that Daniel? Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. Oh, North. Simon. Okay. Android Trail Jericho. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. Okay. Free? And hiding just to stay alive. That's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. North kind of bad, though. Uh, trail. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? That's only funny, because like I'm a human, and I followed it. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. Mm. This place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Oh. I understand how you feel. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. Why do you still have your little... Tracker things in, huh? Humans were your masters, and now it's fear that rules you. Why are you being so combative, Marcus? You're no freer Marcus? than you ever were. You've only found a new master. I know what picking You're lucid lost. would do. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. Okay, so now you're gonna you're go back here. to staring at the corner. You can stay with us as long as you want. What what depressing activities are you guys up to in this ship? Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. So how come you guys haven't like carved out your little tracker things? Whatever they're called. Settle in, find Lucy, explore Jericho. Oh my god, it's it's worse than I thought. Start fire. I don't know if I want to do that. Hey wait. <gasps> That's the garbage man! Right here, isn't it? The garbage man that was like, I know some people that can help you, Takara, but they're a long way from here. This is who he was talking about. I bet. You okay, blood? I'm not in very good shape, am I? I diagnostic program isn't working. would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. Mm. I don't want to shut down. No, I, I don't want to 
have shut down. Emotional music in the background. I guess we're done talking to you now. Lucy, you know, you could maybe give me uh, a hint as to where Lucy is. So I'm not just like walking around. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? Are you tripping right now? Are you okay? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. Oh. Um, What's your name? Are you like Marcus. losing power or something? What makes them shut down? I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Oh, please. <laughs> he just dies right then. Okay. Great, cool. She died right in front of me. Awesome. Uh... So we're not going to talk to the garbage guy, I guess. Can we talk to this guy over here? What about you? Hi. No? You. You just go- Oh, you're here to block the stairs, so I can't go anywhere that I'm not supposed to. I see. Um, maybe talk to- Who are the ones that introduced themselves? There was like, North and Simon. There's North right there. Maybe we can talk to them. Seem like side characters. Time here. Wounded Jericho. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. That's not very long. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. Androids are very good at mathematically deciding where the ball goes. Uh, wounded. A lot of these guys are in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. I mean, they're not all like that. But, you know, Carl's like a good guy. What yeah. was your function before coming here? What do you care? Resentful. Oh, I'm so sorry that I asked a question. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. It's like Hank asking a question that would normally be fine. Da I've noticed that David Cage, I he did this a couple times, I think, Beyond Two Souls. Like, it, he, he makes some of the characters, like, get, uh, react really, like, negatively to being asked a personal question. Like, a basic personal question. Without warning. Those people like, what the fuck do you care about that? I fucking hate talking to you. What, you think you're some kind of big shot? I'm like, no, I just... I mean, how am I supposed to know when I when I pick an option titled you? Anyway, hi, Simon? Oh, no, we can't talk to Simon, weirdly. Uh... Oh, no, kid android. What's going on? They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. So like, why, why did I just get a positive, like, down. yeah. But there's never enough. From Josh. So how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Okay. So you guys just like waste away here in the drug den? <laughs> Can I see? Oh, you're, you're here blocking the stairs too. You're not allowed to go up there. Who are you? Are you Lucy? 
Is Lucy back here? Oh. That's not what I meant to do. Back here. Can't really see. Oh, that's Lucy. She doesn't have a, a Are brain. You Lucy? Okay. Sit down. That that you didn't answer my question. You people are so annoying. <laughs> By the way, you ship androids. Okay, I'm sitting down. You must prove yourself. You must pass my test. Show me. Oh. I'll stop the bleeding. I didn't even know we had this injury. We were like bouncing off of walls and like doing Prince of Persia shit out there. You know, you could have done that, Marcus. You can't feel pain, so it's not like. Drink this. Okay. What is it? Is it literally like a drug? Is that why everybody's in such a stupor around here? Okay, so we're getting up now. Give me your hand. Okay. Are you like reading my memories or something? You had it all. Ah, okay. And you lost it all. Yeah. You Thanks for reminding me. Hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Leaving us on a cliffhanger, your huh? Your choices will shape our destiny. Okay, we're still we still gotta settle in. We gotta explore Jericho, although it won't let us. Can I go back to that kid? This is so depressing. Okay, well, how about start fire? Wait, what's this? Oh, RE nine. There it is again. The virus. It's the woke mind virus, y'all. We found it. These androids are so woke, bro. Why did I light a fire? Oh, does it help, like, light stuff up over here? What? What, you like being by the fire? Why? You don't need the warmth. You don't need the light. Does it, does it help to have the fire on? Okay. Well, no, now every, it's like a water cooler over here and everybody's coming over. Crate already emptied. Oh, of like parts? Right. About time, give me something to do. Cyberlife Warehouse and Docks, West Torrance Avenue, Detroit, Michigan. <clears throat> Calculating route. Propose a plan to Simon. Oh, uh, we get the privilege of speaking to Simon now. Okay, well. Hi, North. Guess what? I'm going to start a fire next to you. <laughs> Who did that? Wasn't me. Sorry, I don't want to interrupt your ball bouncing. Look, Garbage Man is going over there. Like a moth to the flame. All right, hi, Simon. Simon. Oh. We just gotta wait it out. The fans on my computer are going crazy. I'll wait until they slow down. Okay. 
We got we gotta render all the uh, Simon graphics. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife Warehouse is in the Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. You guys are so annoying. Us, which is why we won't ask permission. We what do you have, have to lose? Weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. Seriously. Oh. Maybe it's worth a try. Wait, Jericho just went up. It's like, everybody likes me more now? I'm in. Josh, are you a rat? <laughs> I feel like somebody here is a rat. There's gotta be a traitor or something, you would think. Uh, <laughs> talk to dying android. Oh, there's somebody that I didn't talk to. I thought I talked to everybody. Oh no, 80%. Interesting, there's like a... Oh, public opinion. Skeptical. Jericho, neutral. North, Josh, and Simon, neutral. So they're the only androids whose opinions matter. Got it. Okay. Well, Marcus hatched a plan. Here's another thing I'm noticing about, about this David Cage game. It's like what I complained about before, where like things just like happen really quickly. Like the conflict. But sometimes things happen really quickly, and they're not conflict. But it's like... It's like David Cage just decides, he was like, okay, so for the next story beat, I want Marcus to lead the Jericho. Even though he just arrived at the scene. And then basically, Marcus is just like, why don't we just go out and get stuff? And then they're just like, what? You want to go out there and get stuff? It's a crazy plan, but it's just my work. <laughs> I'm in, you son of a bitch. And it's like, what? You guys were just like standing around doing nothing. And then all of a sudden, you're just like, oh, you crazy son of a gun, I'm in. It's like, didn't take any convincing. I just need, I need it to be a little paced out more. But, you know, I'm fine with the story beat moving on to like, Marcus leads them. But it can't just suddenly get there, you know? All right. Trusted. Damn right she trusts me. You're gonna be okay? We'll get some help here. And we still got the gun. We didn't leave the gun in the house. So wait, what's this? Where are we going? We were on the run, we ran across the highway. This is the place. This is the place. That Oh, the garbage man. Oh, this is what the garbage man told us. Oh, so maybe that's not the same guy that was in the Jericho. Oh, 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 calm down. Okay, we're good. Twice and that's it. Oh. Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. <laughs> Come in. I'm just noticing the trend with David Cage games, you know, with his writing style. Just like, no, absolutely not. That can't happen. Well, okay. And if you insist, I'll break down. Come on in. Don't be shy. You're welcome in my home. Look, I'm looking to find help. Zlatko. Hey, okay. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? <laughs> Don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. So are you a human?
please. Make I think he is. Home. I think he's a human. Look at my shirt. <laughs> How did you hear about me? An android. It looks like the On same the type street, of shirt he, he has. It's just palette swapped. I see. Oh, different pattern too, I think. Slightly different, but it's very similar. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. Is she? And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. And Canada's an android-free zone, Beautiful though. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Can we be in Canada, yes, though? That's, that's exactly what we want. Of course. It'll cost you. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Okay. That was a very quick meeting. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No. Mm. She always stays with me. Yeah. Exactly. Of course. Wish I could scan stuff like Connor. Connor's like very, room. very Everything rewarding in the to explore with because you can scan so many different things. Uh, playing as the other characters, you don't quite have the same. I wish there was something to notice about that. There might be, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling rushed at the moment. Oh uh, yeah, playing as the other. Place. And that man. Yeah, I'm Let's getting go. kind of. I have a bad feeling. I, I'm getting kind of oogie about it too. I know. I don't trust him either. We have to be careful. Yeah, we were kind of given Please his location the mess. very quickly. Check on Alice. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing yeah. trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. Hmm. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be alright. What's it what's in these cages? This way, please. I wish I could have seen what was in there, but there's a chair. Oh, sweetie. Come on. Hey. You okay? Come on, sweet. <laughs> Sorry, I Girl, dad. Come on. Okay, what's this? Let's look around. Hmm. If you could just stand over there. Okay. Hmm. Let's see how this goes. I should warn you. This could be quite unpleasant. But androids can't feel pain, so... Right? Oh. You know what's strange? Alice, you okay? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? You said that... Yeah. Uh -huh. People believe what they want. You're already revealing yourself you as a little villain. are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them. Sell them on. Wow. Or I keep them for my little experiments. Wow. No! So you're... No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up 
I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's that's so sweet. You suck, I'm bro. So deluded. You know you look a lot like you out of your misery. her dad, and I killed him too. Okay, well, poor Kara. Reset one percent, two percent. Preparing memory wipe. That's what you get for having a dream. Yeah. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusionment. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. There's something that we can do. No more pain. Luther? No more. I feel like you're our only hope at this point. Dashed. I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Memory corruption oh, detected. Looks like mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like mommy's completely forgotten you. Kara, what happened to you? Oh my god. Oh, all right, that's You're just so, thought. like, cartoonishly evil. Hey. You bit me. I'm yeah, you deserve more than that. Man, you little bitch. Man, he's like... <laughs> Kara! Wake up, Kara! He's gonna twirl his mustache. Hey. You. Meet me in the living room. It's a... Okay. We're gonna save Alice. Don't worry. It's, it's it's going down. You know what? Our memory wipe got wiped once before. This isn't the first time. 28%. They're just gonna leave it here to automatically finish. <laughs> There's always something nearby. Uh, okay, that didn't really help us. Cause a short circuit. Oh, okay. Um, yellow cable, green cable. Okay. Interesting. 66%. Oh my god. 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 Um, yellow cable? Sorry. Was... Oh, come on. Do I go do it again? Oh, okay. 90%. I don't have anything else to do. It's times like those that I really get annoyed playing on controller. Because, like, trying to look around the room in first person like that, you're just like... And it's like, on something timed like that, it's very annoying. I interacted with everything that I could find to interact with. But the thing is, like, even though her memory's wiped, we have control. What's that? Serve Zlatko. I know I'm kind of covering up, but that was the directive. Serve Zlatko. What the hell is going on there? Help us. Okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? He erased her memory. This can't be happening. You have to remember. For her sake. 
He likes to play with us. Creating monsters okay. for his amusement. But who's the real monster? Well, what him, obviously. It's like, it's like Sid from Toy Story, damn. You must remember who you are. Otherwise the little one will die. We gotta go tell Zlatko to play nice. We gotta go find him. Give him a message from us toys. Okay. Wow. Dude, seriously. The guy is literally grown up Sid from Toy Story. Okay. Okay. You know, Luther is his muscle. I'm thinking maybe if we can get him somehow. Come on, look at the mirror. Remember. Remember, Kara. Remember. <laughs> it looks like she's like swearing under her breath. What am I looking? History of painting. Oh my god. There's big gaps here. I wonder if they're significant somehow. Open. Oh, we're not gonna just leave. What the hell? Make yourselves at home. Is it working? Where's a front of <laughs> Did I look at this before? What a weird thing to, to have here. What if we go upstairs? Oh, join Luther in the living room. My prime directive. Well. Master's dinner. Master's dinner is ready. It's ready. Take it up to him. Yes, okay. Luther. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> what if I look around first? Huh? We got around here. You got any games on your phone? Uh. Okay. Not really sure what that's. Yeah, you know, earlier when he was like, what about her? And Carl was like, she's human. I was like, oh, wait. Hmm. Is she, though? Is she? She might be. An android. You find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. Because they haven't done that yet. The twist where somebody that you, know, you thought was human is actually an android. And any, 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 like, media that has androids and it has to pull that stunt at least once. Alien. Blade Runner. What is he doing? Hello. Uh, just set it down on the table over there. The table. Oh, the table over 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 here. I don't know. Why do I care? <laughs> Potato chips, donuts. Get rid of that carcass. Uh, take it next door. Please fuck off. Not a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! Did you hear what I said? Yes, Lacko. Hmm. Food brought. Interesting. Got a little uh, Capri Sun bottle there. 
That would fit his diet. Luther! Luther! Next door. Yes, Lockle. Oh, he was up here. here Immediately. So. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with him. Understood, Slacko. I'll bring you the little one in 10 minutes. Huh. Oh, come on. You asshole. How dare you? Serve, Zach. Where's the little girl? Remember. Okay. What's over here? See what I can do with her. Oh, he had. Oh, he's a red ice user. So is Leo. So are all the bad characters. They're all red ice users. My name is Carl. Oh, she's remembering. Alice. Took a while, but we finally got there. Find Alice. What are you doing here? Has the master authorized you to be here? You must sure always has. obey the master. Master, oh yes, you must always obey. What are you doing? You're not gonna hurt me. No, 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 you wouldn't do that. Shut down. Alice, deal, spare. I'm looking for a little girl. Have you seen her? A little girl? No, no, no. I haven't seen her. Okay. No. We'll spare him. No, of course not. Yeah, why would we shut him down? Come on. Oh, wait. Oh, Luther's right here. What the? I'll bring you the little girl in 10 minutes, he says. Find Alice. We don't have much time. I guess we're free to explore in the meantime. Okay, so this is where it went. My bad. Wait, there's something over there. What is going on over there? See, like, wait, like, what's this? What's this? It's like a, it's like a cyborg dog or polar bear. Open cage. It might be a good distraction. Be nice to me, I'm being nice to you, please. Oh, it won't leave. Okay, we're, we're wasting a lot of time here. Oh, I've already, I've already wasted a minute. You know, if you could like sprint, that would be preferable. Okay, where would Alice be? If he believes that she's human, which I'm not sure that he believes that or not. He's a, oh my God, he's asleep? Or he was. Well, he's not really, he's awaiting his next uh, directive. I don't have time to read this. Arctic tension escalate. no. We gotta find Alice. This is serious. Oh my god. Well, yeah. I mean, we're Stop taking. Loaded. Oh, come on. What? Don't you have a gun? No, stop that. Don't pick that up. Okay. How big do they make this place, dude? What is this? Okay. Am I checking the fire for? Okay. Gun's not loaded. I'm trying to remember. Okay, over here, there's something. Turn on. Detroit residents were destroyed no. by a surprising chase through the city Public opinion goes down. Okay, we gotta find Alice. This is This is ridiculous. Back down to the corner.
open. Here we go, we found her. Hey. Alice. Car. Car, you remember me. How could I forget you? Aww. I'm so sorry. You were right, we never should have come here. We have to go. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? It's really too bad that we couldn't have gotten that shotgun. They teased us with it. Oh, the gun's in our coat. Oh my god. Yes, Locke. I'm finished here. Go fetch the little one. Oh my god. We're going in here, we're going in here. Hide. What? The little one is gone. Shit. Well, I can't have just disappeared. You gotta be here somewhere. What are you waiting for? Go look. Shit. No, what Where? you don't wanna hide there? Luther! Find him for fuck's sake! Why don't you wanna go in here? Oh, I gotta hold it down. God. I should have taken it apart the minute I set eyes on it. What an angle we've got right here. Is he getting yes. the shotgun? Nothing. Trouble. That means that the ammo was right next to it. Kara. I messed up. Damn, that sucks. Did we go out to the corridor? Oh! You're disobeying the master. Oh, you shut up. You're disobeying the master. I, 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 I can't let you do that. I must warn him. Yes, yes, yes. That's for sure. Master, yes. I must warn him. They're here. Damn. He's just following his programming. I know you're there, you sneaky bitch. Show yourself. But we opened the cage. Get a flashlight. There's one on the table. Come on, show yourself. Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. I only want to talk with you. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, come on. I guess I messed it up. Damn. Get a move on. Oh, Luther. No more hide and seek for you. Oh, yeah, get him. Get him, polar bear. Oh, they're over there. We couldn't even get out of the room in time. Gotta get out of here. They're over there. The front door? Yeah. Obviously. No! Oh my god. Okay, not obviously. Okay, Luther's really slow. Why can't you get your coat and get the gun out of it? Oh, that'll stop him. Okay, yeah. Mm-mm. Go, Alice! No! I won't leave! Go! Run as fast as you can! Oh my god. I warned you! Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. Oh. What are you doing? Is he a deviant? Get out of my way. Is he breaking no. his programming? Not this time. 
I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. How dare you? Oh. How dare you? Oh my god, it's Toy Story. It's Toy what Story, you? dude. Who let you out? <laughs> get away from me. Get away from me. Obey me. I'm your master. I'm your master! This part's kind of like the Lion King, actually. Ugh. Oh my gosh. I knew you had it in you, Luther. I guess you broke through the wall just like Kara did, you know? I didn't want to hurt you. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. Yeah. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. Well, now I do. But I know someone who could help you across the border. Well, that, I mean. I could take you there. You risked your life for me, so. I could protect you. You and the little one. What do you think, Alice? It's up to Alice. You got good instincts. All right. Oh, okay. Well. I trust you. Okay, well, I guess it's up to Kara, actually. Never mind. I was so scared of losing you. This chapter is just called Zlatko. Um, let's take a look at all of the choices. Oh my god, my computer is like struggling. It's just like, this is really tough actually because there's so many choices. Um, okay, well, look at all this. Public opinion, skeptical. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Um, let's see. Cars reset. So you can avoid being reset. But it, it ultimately doesn't matter because you can still work your way out of it. Interesting. Bathroom, Android, kill or spare. Well, you know what? Maybe we should have killed it. <laughs> Them taking their eternal bath. Interesting. So if you avoid, if you avoid being reset, then you skip all this other stuff. You recover your memory and you just go straight to searching the house for Alice, which is kind of interesting. Check empty shotgun. I wonder if there was a way to, to get the shells. I didn't see anything near it to interact with. I guess maybe he had the shells on him. That would make sense. Hmm. And then this is the exact uh, route that I chose. Interesting. 38%. Hide in closet. 26% go through bathroom. I mean, I had to duck in because of the quick time event. I didn't want to because I knew that the stupid loud android was in there. And I knew that even though I spared them, that they would just be like, oh, I'm going to follow my programming. Master, they're in here. Yeah, 75% ultimately get spotted, though. But that's interesting that you can just sneak out. But then if you sneak out, then you don't get Luther on your side. Luther joins Kara and Alice. 98%. Oh. So really, so there's a 2% chance not to get that. I wonder. Huh. It's interesting that for all these choices, you pretty much get the same ending. <laughs> anyway. All right, next scenario. Give me a Connor scenario. Come on. Hank's gonna become my friend. Project Hank is underway. Ow, get me out of here. I mean, this is like the arc, right? Like, it's a simulation that we're in. Um, I brought an umbrella for the simulated rain. Give me a break. Anyone else really want a Kit Kat right now? Oh, go this way. 
find Amanda. What is she like lounging over here or what? What's this? Touch. What is it? This touchpad is Android only. I don't what well, I don't I don't understand what that is. Okay. So assuming that this is this is a simulation, which I mean it looks like it. Look at this vector path we're on. Then that would mean that Amanda is an AI and not a real person. Oh my gosh, she's way over there. Holy hell. Find Amanda. Yeah, I found her. She's way the hell over there. So if she's an AI, she's basically here to keep Connor in line, right? Being Cyber Life's, uh, you know, number one premium android or whatever prototype. Can you please? Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Okay. That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. What the previous Did one? You didn't manage to capture it. <laughs> um. No excuse. There's no excuse. I have no excuse. I should have been more efficient. Did you manage to learn anything? Diary, uh, things on walls, or signs on walls. The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. What else? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? Hmm. He seems to find it difficult when a Connor is destroyed and replaced. I know humans have difficulty dealing with loss. Working with him will be a challenge if it happens again. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. Mm. I won't disappoint you. I kind of want to disappoint case her. Just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Because she's not real. Sorry, my uh, wife just texted me. Okay. You have reached your destination. Thank you for traveling with Detroit Taxis. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Hank, friend. Oh, detective friend. Yay, detective friend. Are we, is this his home or what? Is this our home? What are we doing here? Do we have a home Lieutenant as Anderson. Android? It's, of course not. Should I wait? I'll go ahead and wait. Anybody home? Oh, Hank. Oh. Look through the window. Blinds are open. Oh, doggy. The St. Bernard. Find a way inside. Okay. 
Got a motion detected light right here. Interesting. Okay. Well, there's nothing really over here. We can look in through the windows over here. What, what, what does it say? Bumper sticker? Detroit. Oh my gosh. Okay, what do these say? Michigan, I love Detroit. Oh my god. I did not take you to be such a sentimental guy for the city of Detroit. Okay. Uh, not a great angle, honestly. Okay. Um, I'll ring one more time. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought he was just going to hold it like that. That would have been funny. Okay, I guess we'll go around back. You leave us no choice, Hank. This is how we will stop you. Oh, a grill. Oh, Hank is unconscious. Lieutenant Anderson. He's going in. Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Oh, yeah. He would understand that for sure. Okay. We do know his name, though. Check on Hank. Oh, my goodness. Can I analyze him? Or, I guess. Okay, we got to physically examine. Um, he has his gun out, by the way. Can I please examine? I'm trying to... Thank you. Alright. Well, first of all... Whiskey? Yep. Black Lamb Scotch Whiskey. 40% alcohol. Okay. Alright. Revolver. 35.7 Magnum. One bullet remaining. Was he playing Russian Roulette? Hank, how depressed are ya? Slight arrhythmia, no sign of trauma. Okay, that's good. That's a good sign. Traces of alcohol. Well, a lot of really obvious stuff here. Lieutenant. Ethylic coma suspected. Oh, I'm sure he's gonna react positively to this. Wake up, Lieutenant. It's me, Connor. <laughs> I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey! I have to warn you. Leave me alone, you fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. <laughs> Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Lee, get the fuck out of here! Take Ank to the bathroom. Okay. Shut up! Attack! <laughs> Attack! <laughs> Yeah, Sumo's not an attack Fuck, dog. I think I'm gonna be sick. Eh, well, you're already sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole! I'm not going anywhere. Um. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not grumpy. I just don't doing? like you. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. What are we doing? Is this... A, oh my god, a cold shower. <laughs> That'll wake you up for sure. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. He's so annoying. Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't it's you just leave me alone? It's our job to be a pain in the ass, dude. Rash, pragmatic. Maybe you should drop the case. They'll assign someone else, and I can focus on my mission. Are you goddamn mission? That's all you care about, huh? Listen, Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here!
Nah, let's not tease him. I understand. I sincerely hope you come to terms with your personal situation. This homicide. What do we know about it? Leaving always works with this guy. A man was found dead in a sex club downtown. The report says that an android may be involved. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. Bring I'll go get them. Clean clothes. All right, you ready? Clean clothes. Let's see. They're right here. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Hmm. <laughs> stripey, hippie, streaky. He does like stripey. I've noticed. <laughs> okay, well. Okay, let's. I'm assuming that that's. Oh no. <laughs> I'm familiar with that position. Are you alright, Lieutenant? <coughs> water, perhaps? Give him a glass of water. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Needs Just, to get uh, rehydrated. Give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <laughs> Learn more about Hank. Oh. Just have to wait. Just have to wait a moment. I have to remember that you guys can't hear my computer being like... So sometimes I just sit there in silence and then I'm like, all right, you guys can't hear that. <coughs> okay. That's the day where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. The Kremlin has yet to respond, hmm. but this is clearly a new the blues escalation in the conflict. Or jazz? Many jazz fan? Are suggesting the specter of a third world war can we pet? Closer can we pet? Oh, yes, we're going to pet Shumo. You're a good dog. See? We're not so bad. Good boy. Very good boy. Okay. Um, can I please... Does he play an instrument, perhaps? Learn more about Hank. Huh? Nothing really over here, is there? Okay, there's a lot more stuff to look at in here. Let's see. So there's something over here. Ah, oh, yes. The record collection. Take. Well, we're not going to take it. We're just going to look at it. Autumn Blues. Michigan Brothers. Detroit Soul Records. Hank loves jazz. That's why I said. Okay. I'm glad we've uh, figured that out. We're gonna learn more about Hank. Hank loves food. <laughs> oh, Hank's son. That's that's a that's a real kid. A developer's kid? Oh oh. Hank lost his son. Yeah, maybe leave that down like he had it. Uh or prop it up. That's Question. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. I told you. Want to see how long I can last? Must Hank has suicide things. Found out. You were lucky. It was the next, next... would have killed you. Yeah, it was in the next chamber. That's what I was gonna say. I don't know if he's joking or what. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Well, Sumo just has to exist in order to accomplish that task. He's already a good dog. Oh, why not stay home with Sumo? Watch some TV on the couch. Give him pets and treats. 
Left for eating club. Oh, that's where we're going. Oh, we're going to this. We're going to the sex place. Whoa. Okay. Um. Oh, it's called Russian Roulette. The scenario. Hank friend. Amanda neutral. You know what? I'm fine with that. Even though it it puts down arrows next to Hank friend, which I don't like. I wonder, oh, but now they're up arrows. Okay. All right, well, we've done uh, one scenario scenario each for for these guys. So and then I'm going to end it here um, for the video. And I'll be back in two days with the next part. Thank you for watching. You got anything to say? I don't think so. Let me know what you thought in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. Think critically.